So we wanted to share with you some of the tools that we have here at the Public Health Department to help us monitor the flu season in our community. One of these, as um, Matt mentioned, is the School Influenza Absenteeism Program. Um, every school year, we recruit our local schools to participate in this voluntary program where they provide us the total number of students they have enrolled at their school, as well as the total number of students that are absent due to influenza-like illness. We do not collect any information on individual students, on classrooms or grade sizes, but we look at the school as a whole um, to see how influenza-like illness is affecting our community. If you look at this graph over here to my far right, um, it is depicting the number of the proportion of students who are absent due to influenza-like illness um, across the schools that participate. As you can see in this dark um, red, yellow, sorry, red, um, orange line, um, we are at a higher level um, right before our winter break. We are at a level higher than we've seen in the previous two seasons. Um, obviously, school has been out for the past few weeks and is restarting, um, so we are watching to see what absenteeism is going to be like um, in the coming weeks. We do remind uh, parents to keep their children home when they're ill. Um, we know it's hard when they want to go back to school, but for the sake of um, everybody in our community, if your children are ill, they need to stay home. Another one of our tools that Matt mentioned is our syndromic surveillance system, where all of our local hospitals participate. Um, each emergency department submits their chief complaints uh, to the system. And the chief complaint is basically the reason somebody went into the emergency department for care. And this allows us to monitor in real time the proportion of people who are coming in for influenza-like illness with a fever, a cough, a sore throat. This system does not allow us to collect the actual official diagnosis of the patient at the end of the day, but it does give us in, uh, a picture of how many people are showing up to the hospitals with influenza-like illness. What you can see here in this chart is that there has been a dramatic increase in the proportion of people seeking medical care in the emergency departments with influenza-like illness. Last week, nearly 10% of all of our emergency department visits were for flu-like symptoms. That's 45% higher than what we saw at this time last year, and 10% is typically what we see at the peak of the flu season. So here and around the state, we're going to continue to watch this to see if we are seeing an early peak in the flu season or if this is going to continue to increase. Thank you, and I will now pass this to Denise Smith, our Director of Disease Control.